So Sean, I guess the words on everyone's lips this morning coming back into training on Monday morning and ahead of tomorrow night's game against Doncaster, is it a response and an improvement probably? Yeah, without a doubt, I think both words are key to what we're looking for for tomorrow night. You know, a a response to a a difficult day on Saturday and a marked improvement in the performance levels. It's, um, you know, Saturday was not us, just wasn't us. And it's not something that we've seen at all in the nine months that I've been here. And you hope for that, you're not going to see them too many times going forward because you know, they, um, they give you cause for concern, but let's not overlook what's been a successful nine months. And one defeat in ten is a, is a highlight that we must, you know, take the positives from and make sure we bounce back starting with tomorrow night. Obviously, you mentioned just there, one, one defeat in ten. We're three games into the new season. You've also got a busy opening month of fixtures. There's, there's still plenty of fixtures to come. and. and Plenty of early fixtures to, to make those improvements, isn't there? Yeah, without a doubt. And we always said, you know, the um, the opening fixtures were very difficult, and um, I stand by that. You know, some of the teams that we, we've been up against, those coming around the corner, are either come down from League One, or have got aspirations to get promoted themselves, and you know, have had a fantastic summer in recruiting. Listen, we are on that upward curve ourselves. You know, it's been a positive nine months. And I don't want anybody to get carried away with what they witnessed on Saturday. I'm sure not. You know, the players aren't. We all understand that, you know, that that was not us on Saturday. But with everyone's backing and togetherness, like we've always shown and proved in the past, just what you can achieve. And there'll be some many more positive days around the corner. Hopefully starting with Tuesday night. Coming into training this morning on on the back of of Saturday, how do you sort of approach this morning's training session? What, What do you sort of look at initially? Just normal, you know, just be normal, you know, I'm not going to change good, bad or indifferent, you know, it's uh, consistent in my messages that I give the guys, you know, good, bad or indifferent performances, they know the rules and, they, they, you know, it's, it's black and white, absolutely black and white and um, we understood, we was very forthright with each other on Saturday and that wasn't acceptable and now we're looking for a response and an improvement. And I trust them, I trust the players and I know that the, the group of guys that I've got, even you know, the lesser numbers that we've got to take into tomorrow night, they all so desperately want to pull on the shirt for Cambridge and, and for themselves looking for that improvement. I guess that's an aspect that is sort of overlooked with it. Obviously everyone's naturally disappointed with a result like that, but I guess none more so than the players themselves who will want to come this morning and make that improvement improvement early. Well, they would have hated Sunday. Absolutely. I mean, Sunday's the, the the worst day when you don't get the you know the the result that everyone's looking for. Players, fans, staff, everybody connected with a football club. It's horrible when you lose, um, but it's part of the game, and it's part of the game that you have to learn from. And we sure had to learn and take our medicine from Saturday. And as poor as we were, you know, you have to give credit to the opposition and say that they were very good. Um, yes, we enabled them to be very good on the day, but they still produced a performance. So, going forward, you know, they would have had a tough Sunday, the boys, and they'll be looking to, um, you know, come in this morning and make sure that they're in and around an atmosphere and an environment that's been created for them to, to get better. Real quick turnaround on fixtures and another tough opponent in Doncaster Rovers. Yeah, a real tough opponent. You know, one, a football club similar to Saturdays, who've got them high hopes to get promoted at the first time of asking. You know, they've had a disappointing few years up in Doncaster and it's a, you know, it's a very big football club that probably from the outside will look and say, well, they shouldn't be at League Two, but they are. They're there for a reason and we have to make sure that they're in for another difficult encounter on Tuesday. A side, of course, that you've already, you've already met last season in the, in the FA Cup. So both, both teams taking different journeys since then, but I guess it'll be a, a similar sort of fix you're expecting. Yeah, very di- yeah, different journeys. Yeah, I mean we've uh, had a very positive nine months, and you know Donny have, you know they've had a disappointing nine months, but you know they've got a manager at the helm who've got who's got a lot of experience, and the um, you know they've they've employed him to do a job, and it might take a, a different journey for them to get the success. Um, the journey's obviously started for them by being relegated, but listen, big clubs always bounce back. Always, we've just got to hope that they um, start their bounce back after they've played us. And just finally, I guess the message from you today and throughout the rest of the week going forward will be business as usual. Let's just crack on. Just be calm. Just be calm. You know, it's a um, uh, an environment here at the training ground and at the football club that's definitely got a direction. 
we understand where we want to go. You know, the fans, I stress to the fans that you can have some down days. Of course you can have some down days. You know, I see, I see Arsene Wenger getting booed off once again on the opening day of the season. You know, sometimes football goes a little bit crazy now and again. But just be calm. You know, it's, uh, we all have an idea of what we want to do with this football club. And we had a fantastic day last Tuesday. And you're not always going to have that type of, you know, outcome from a football game. Saturday was put, put it to bed, we crack on, we look forward, it's a long old season and there's going to be many more positive days around the corner.